one of the features that I really like about the wizard vacuum planter is its ability not only to do a single line, but the uh, a kit that comes to be able to do two or three lines. Uh, giving you the ability when you're doing more highly dense uh, plantings like carrots or other small vegetables like that, to be able to put two to three lines down at the same time with the same planter, just simply changing out the kit uh, that allows that multi-line there. So we're going to show you how that assembly process is done, give you a better feel if that's something that you're looking to make an investment in. So as you can see here, this is what's in the multi-line kit. Okay, so if you're going to retrofit your current uh, wizard planter that does one row, but want to do a multi-line, which is either two to three uh, lines, this is what you're going to find in your kit. You're going to have a different shovel and shoe. Uh, you're going to have a different uh, housing plate uh, and the, the drops, as well as you're going to have to have different plates that have the multi-line uh, holes in them as well. Okay, so Dustin and I are going to show you a little bit about the process of how to change that out once you have all of the items here. Again, it's not a, uh, a, a long process, but it's not something you're going to do on a regular basis. All right? So we're going to first um, take off this cover, um, remove the old cover, and the plate uh, and the seed uh, system there. We're going to take off this shoe that drops down. Okay. And then we're also going to pull out the, the, the drop uh, that comes down, okay? That's done by pulling out that pin. And as we get ready then, uh, we're going to put in a new seed drop system, okay? It's going to come up in uh, from the bottom. And we're going to put that pin back in the same hole. And the kit has a second pin that we're going to um, put in the second hole. All right, okay, so we got the multi-line drop now. Um, we can then bring in the shovel, or little shoes that come up from down below. Uh, what we're gonna try to make sure those hoses get lined up properly in the setup there. All right, this gets drawn in, and then that screw uh, pulls it up, okay? So we're not going to do more than that right now, but that's going to be what it is. And that gets drawn up to the depth that you want. All right. Now we're going to change out the face um, and the plate. So you're going to drop in the plate that is designed for the multi-line, which basically means it has two or three holes in it. And then we're going to add in that, um, a different singulator. So uh, what we removed up there earlier was the singulation. This is the now the new singulation, which will help drop off any doubles or triples. And then the last step, which actually this is pretty quick, uh, uh, just drop this in um, and, I don't know, I think we're ready to drop two to three seeds down. Uh, and that allows us a different spacing uh, up, I think, to, to about six inches in, uh, roughly in there. So, um, yeah, that's the assembly process for the multi-line kit.